Well, ahoy there, we are jumping into dividing whole numbers. Long division, your favorite. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this unit. Let's jump right into it. So to divide 672 by eight, what you're gonna to wanna to do is set it up like this. If you've never done long division before, um, there's other videos to watch. You can also come in and get some help from myself or Mrs. Rude. We'll sit down and go through with you. Hopefully you've done something like this before. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out how many times does eight go into six? Well, it doesn't. So then you go, well, how many times does eight go into 67? How many times does eight go into 67? Yeah, it goes in eight times. So uh, there are eight groups of eight in 67. That eight is gonna go right above the seven of 67. Okay, then you're gonna do eight times eight, which is 64, and put that below the 67. And then you gotta subtract. So 67 minus 64 is three. And then you're gonna bring down this two. Whoop, there we go, becomes 32. So now how many times does eight go into 32? Yeah, it goes in four times. Uh, there are four groups of eight and 32. That four is gonna go at the top, right above this two of the 32. And then four times eight is 32. Subtract, you're left with nothing. We have no numbers to drop. That means we are done. So 672 divided by eight is 84. Your answer here is at the top. Bam, there we go. Okay, hopefully this is a review for you. If this is brand new, this is a great thing to take some notes on right here. Before we jump to our next example, here's our next example. Okay, so now you're gonna divide. Uh, we got 12 equal payments that we're gonna make for a go-kart and the total is 1,380. So what problem are we actually doing here? Yeah, we're gonna take this important information and we're gonna do 1,380 divided by 12 using long division. So you're gonna set it up just like that. Okay, how many times is 12 going to 13? Once. So now that one is gonna go directly above the three of 13. Then you go one times 12, which is 12, put that below 13, subtract, you get one. What are we gonna do with that eight? We're gonna bring it down, you got it. So now how many times is 12 going to 18? Yes, once again, put that one above the eight of the 18. One times 12 is 12, that goes down here. And then you subtract, leaves you a six. And then you gotta bring down that zero. How many times does 12 go into 60? Five times that goes to the top. And then five times 12 is 60. We subtract, we got nothing left over. There's nothing left to drop. Therefore, our answer is 115. So if we're gonna make 12 equal payments, each payment will be $115. Okay, and then we got, I believe, a bit of story problemage, just like that last one. Uh, some of the story problems are gonna be, take a little deciphering. So we have this 300 foot high swing. Uh, it can take 64 people on each ride and a total of 10,250 people ride the swing today. All of the rides are full except for the very last ride. So how many rides were given? And how many people are on the last ride? So there's three numbers here. One of them is not important. Which number is that? Yeah, the height of this, the thing doesn't matter. The 301 feet does not matter. The numbers that we need are the 64 people per trip and the 10,250 people total. So um, to solve this, what operation we're gonna use? Yeah, it's also kind of in this title right here, the dividing. So we're gonna divide. So we're gonna do uh, 10,250 divided by 64. So 64 doesn't go into zero, one or 10, but it does go into 102 once. And then you go one times 64, goes right here below the 102. And then you subtract. I say, then you subtract. It's not, it's frozen. It's what's happening. Ah, there it is. All right, it's 38. And then we're gonna drop that five. Okay. Things are going very slow here. There it is, all right. And then how many times is 64 going to 385, do you think? All right, well, let's see. It is six. And then six times 64 is 384. Okay, I hope this is recording. It's going super slow. Okay, and then we subtract again, and we get one. Bring down the zero. How many times is 64 going to 10? Well, zero. Now it's important that you actually write the zero up here at the top. 
which I believe I clicked here. There it is. So the zero actually goes to the top. And then zero times 64 is zero. Subtract, and you get 10 left over. We have a remainder of 10. So now in elementary school, you might have written your answer as 160 R10. Okay. Uh, for what we're going to do, you're going to write it as a fraction. So it's going to be 160 and 10 64ths. So that would be our fraction, which you could then simplify. Um, however, the real question is, how many different rides were there? So you can't have 160 and 10 64ths of a ride. So it says the last ride was not full. Um, so how many rides do you think there actually were? Yeah, there were 161 rides. Okay, so there were 160 full rides. And then there were 10 people on that last ride, which was the 161st ride. Okay, so keep that in mind. Sometimes when you're solving story problems, yeah, you're going to do some division. You might get a remainder, a fraction, or whatever. But then put it in the context of the problem. In this case, it needs whole number of rides. Uh, so there we go. That's long division. If you need a, a refresher, if this is brand new to you, then definitely ask for some help. Um, there's also some other videos you might want to watch. Uh, or check out Big Ideas uh, you know, online. It has some examples you can go through. Okay, I will see you in class. Good luck. Uh